Well, Steve, um, we get the honor to talk about one piece of legislation, and it's a legislation that we um, know a little bit about because it came about in 2020. What's it? Well, the short answer is the protocol. <laughs> it sounds so ominous. Yeah, the protocol. Yeah, it sounds sounds like there's some secret society, but it's not. It's not. Um, the protocol of reconciliation and grace through separation is the long name for the piece of legislation. And this was the piece of legislation that was written in response to the 2019 General Conference and in preparation of the 2020 General Conference, which is our regularly scheduled General Conference, that still hasn't happened because of the pandemic. Right. So this was this was formulated in the lead up to that 2020 conference, interrupted by the pandemic. Right. And it was started by um, we mentioned the first video, um, a pastor named Tom Berlin, who's a delegate and one of the leaders uh, in in writing legislation. Um, to help our denomination figure out a way forward around LGBTQ inclusion. And Tom brought together a diverse group of folks, folks from the um, Wesley Covenant Association, folks from Reconciling Ministries, uh, folks across the spectrum of belief around inclusion to write this piece of legislation. Right, right. And my understanding of that proposal was, and the short answer is, allowing those um, who ascribe to an inclusive view to remain United Methodists, those who had other views to leave with grace um, and uh, well wishes um, to go forward and form what would be known as a new Methodist denomination. That's exactly right. It's a... Um from the you know kind of like we've been talking like the 10,000 foot view this is legislation that allows for a graceful separation within right. the Methodist church uh there's a couple things within that are they're that really important is that um the denomination that would remain united methodist um would be the denomination that would move towards a more inclusive denomination that's yeah, rewriting the language that is so controversial in the uh, Book of Discipline. From the 2019 Call General Conference. Right. It would also allow for local churches um, to not have to vote. If if you're United, Me if you want to remain United Methodist, if you wanted to remain in the denomination you've been a part of, you don't even need to take a vote. You would be allowed to, to, say, to stay that way. Um, it also allows for annual conferences to determine whether or not they would want to be a part of the new denomination or the remaining United Methodist. In each of those scenarios, it allows for the local church, the annual conference to uh, retain assets, uh, retain buildings. Yeah, you wouldn't lose your property. You wouldn't lose your property. You wouldn't lose your, uh, for local pastors, it, you wouldn't lose your pension. There would be a way for that to be right. um, separated out in a, in a fair process. Um, which one of the points that Tom Berlin makes is he said, we're, we're at an impasse as a denomination and there are folks that disagree fundamentally. And this allows for that separation in a way that's grace filled. Right. W when you hear this, Steve, how does that sound to you? What does that feel like? Um, frankly, it, uh, it's a little sad to me. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but I think necessary. Uh, if we're going to move forward with such intractable differences over this issue of, of human sexuality. One of the other pieces, I, I agree with you. I, I think it is um, a sad but necessary piece of legislation. Um, if we're not going to figure out a way to move forward as a denomination as a whole, at least we can move apart in a way that's full of grace. Um, right. One, one last piece that's really intriguing about the 
legislation that will be interesting to see how it bears out is that it does offer an opportunity for whatever the new denomination is and the current United Methodist Church to share uh, things like UMCOR and our general agencies and some of our ministries and how that will continue to work in the long run. We don't really know, but there is an opportunity for uh, even in separation, shared ministry together, which I find interesting too. Yeah, yeah. I think you pulled out UMCOR as one example of a ministry that's uh, uniformly respected and mm -hmm. cherished mm -hmm. and does good work all over the world. So, Yeah, and we can think about our general agencies around race and equity um, that, that are really important and will be important to both denominations going forward. I mean, that, those are just a couple examples of, of our general agencies that, that will want to make sure um, are supported and are um, not left out, even in the midst of this difficulty. Right. So those of you that are listening to this, you might think, that's okay. I, I hear you about this legislation. It seems um, on one sense kind of sad, on the other sense maybe necessary. Um, when does it go into effect? And the truth is, is we don't know. Um, when's our current general conference going to happen? Well, I was going to say, when, whenever, when, 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 whenever, when, whenever we could predict when a general conference was going to happen, is that's when, when this likely would be. <laughs> but supposed to happen this coming uh, August or September of 2022. Um, and this is where this legislation will be presented. Right. Of course, all that's up in the air with the pandemic. Difficulty in people traveling the world mm -hmm. uh, and the restrictions on travel and vaccination and visas, visas and, and all of that stuff. There'll be links below. We obviously cover this at a you know kind of 10,000 foot view, but there'll be links below this video. There'll be to an FAQ and you can read the 33 pages of legislation with this. Uh, but we hope this is helpful and informative. And, and we, I know that it's maybe in the weeds, but it is important because it will affect every United Methodist Church, depending on how this is voted on, uh, either later this year or the next year. Okay. Thanks so much.